Fashion YouTube, King Omi Water Gaming, coming back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's jump right into this mission. Gotta meet with Professor Weasley. Oh, it's the middle of the night, but for some reason it allowed me to go to bed and it's back up. Damn it. So, since I can't go to bed. Anywho, since I can't go to bed, I'm just gonna go to the next mission. Because for some reason they just won't let me go to bed. Yeah, did a couple side quests. I got my broomstick now. And, um. Got me a little bit. A little bit of gold in my pocket. Not a lot. Learned a couple new recipes for potions. But the side quest was just delivering some invisibility potions to some potions lady. Wasn't really all of that. She was an, an ass though. She she had an attitude on her for no reason. But it helped me pay for my broomstick so that's all that matters. So now I can fly whenever I'm in a fly zone outside of the school and whatnot in town. Sheesh. Professor. Lord. You got me going. Good Lord. I'm going to have the leg muscles of a champion. Professor Weasley? away from prying eyes the room of requirement yep forgive me the headmaster stopped me and I Merlin's beard I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> what is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Let's do it. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast. Go on those chairs. Excellent work. 
You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Oh, Goodness! Can't you keep it down? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Oh, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <coughs> Repair it. You know, low-key, I forgot I was recording, and I'm sitting here all quiet. I'm so sorry. Alright, let's see. Bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Hell, I need a bath at this point. Ooh. other than a house elf managed to get around in here. What's this? Oops. No? I don't even know why I did that one. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna stop. Oh, I got the hiccups. What was that? Is that a golden snitch? Was that a golden snitch? Not you copying me. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I don't know who said that really. I don't really care. Just don't forget you're the one stuck in this room for like, you know, your entire life now. Must have been here. Yeah. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Well, there he is. Steady throwing stuff. Come to you. Uh, 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 hello. Oh, 
think. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Yeah, Deke it is, is the student. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you <coughs> might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, okay. would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Okay. Now. It's what was that face I just made? What you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. Get out of here. What oh, heads up? Provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. okay. Desk of description. I don't have anything for this at the moment. You'll find plenty what of it tell me to clothing use it? that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should okay. have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay.
Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Interesting. Part of the right seeding. Oh. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic elsewhere? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. So, could have just said no. I will be sure <laughs> to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Another? What else you got for me? She can teach me everything. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Oh, I have plenty. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Y'all don't know purple is my color. Where's my potion table at? There it is. Okay, guess not. This is dumb. Stairs it is. Professor, I have some questions about conjury. Yes? Actually, I don't think... Oh, you want me to just keep conjuring them? Oh, mm. 
Is there an Indian altering spell? Eh. I can wait to be 100% real. I'm going to go find Sebastian. Or in a curse. A Confringo? Wait, Confringo is in a curse? Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Over here. Sebastian, Shabby. it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Sure they don't, buddy. This way. Oh. There's a secret passage just here. Yeah, I know the password to get in. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister. And she loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. I got we you. used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions, or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it and I've certainly never seen anyone else here again mention this to no one especially ominous he has no love lost for his family or their secrets but this place is special to him understood but why does ominous have no love lost for his family his father's family a direct descendant of Salazar Slytherin oh. one of the four founders of Hogwarts obsessed with blood status most of them ominous cannot abide them as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay, it may take a while to get the feel for it. Not Mimic the slightest. my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well.
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. To this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new mm. student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Mm. You must promise to keep this between yeah. us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. As long as you keep my magic between when us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Confringo! Repair. Pieces disappeared. Not what I was expecting was going to happen. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I am enjoying this curse. I just don't remember it being a curse. I could have sworn it was just an enchantment. I mean, a regular old spell.
Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh, no. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Let's believe, dude. You won't stop Sebastian talking crazy. Sebastian going to get an earful about this. Oh, gas. Well, he disappeared into that cabinet like Skyrim what just now. What the hell? Anywho. Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay, so she's going to teach me when uh, Leviosa. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem so determined to master your spell card. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Let me also Oh, you know what? That was supposed to be Confringa. Confringa! 
Alright. Alright you guys, I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to descend upon that like button like the angels you are. And I will see you in the next video.